The Mountain State Fugitive Task Force welcomed five new marshals to the team here at Old Fort Steuben, representing a new bridge forming across the river with law enforcement. U.S. Marshals have been working here and they got some of our biggest shooters that caused the city so much trouble earlier this year. So now we can join in with them. Federal and local officials are bridging that gap to fight crime in both Ohio and West Virginia together in a much more effective way. Today, Chris Vincy, Jason Hanlon, Tom Ellis, Rich Flanagan, and Tim Starkey were all sworn in as U.S. Marshals as part of the Mountaineer State Fugitive Task Force. This collaboration will give them the authority to go into West Virginia and Ohio to catch fugitives. And this way they can actually come with me and assist me in, in locating them so we can actually act faster and, and locate these guys a lot faster than normal. An example of this is when U.S. Marshals arrested both Stedman Creech and Carl Kaysen in West Virginia. Both were wanted out of Steubenville. Authorities have added another weapon to their arsenal by appointing Jefferson County Prosecutor Jane Hanlon as Special Assistant U.S. Attorney for Southern Ohio, making her a federal and state prosecutor, a first for this area. There are times when a state prosecution can be more effective. There are times when a federal prosecution can be more effective. And what this allows is for me to prosecute offenders in either Ohio uh, or in the federal courts, depending on where we make the decision that the crime would best be prosecuted. Hanlon says this will be used predominantly in the area of drug cases, gangs, and weapon charges. The Mountain State Fugitive Task Force is responsible for 53 arrests of violent individuals within the past year. In Steubenville, Sarah Yingling, 7 News working for you.